Hey, when we return, I'll show you an invaluable asset that's helped me jumpstart planting success on thousands of fruit trees on my land. I promise you, the results are nothing short of miraculous and something you won't want to miss. Probably the biggest success or failure and then success story that I've learned since we started here at the ranch has to do with planting trees. We planted thousands of trees trying to create edge effects and so forth. The deer ate them, the weeds got them, the rabbits ate them, the mice got them. We'd go in the next year and plant three, four hundred more that had died out or were killed off that year and redo it and redo it. And I mean, the amount of work and, and the amount of time and, and cost to redo all those trees that many times was a joke. To prevent deer, rabbit, and rodent predation on the new trees I'd planted, Plantra tree tubes were definitely the answer. Chris Seams is with me, he's with Plantra, and they make these tubes, these tubes are vented, so it allows for the tree to breathe. The solid plastic down here keeps the mice away, keeps the rabbits away, keeps the deer away, until the tree comes out the top. You put electrical ties like so on each of the tubes, Normally like the stake on the north side of the tree so it doesn't shade the tree as it grows. Ties go over, stake as it goes down. Tube over the seedling. We want the base of the tube flush with the ground line to keep the mice out of the, out of the base of the tube. Have the venting so the plant breathes during the summer, hardens off properly for winter, and um, five foot tube for maximum deer protection. It's a stressful place. This is where the prairie meets the forest. It's a hard place for a tree to grow. And so we're reducing the moisture stress, protecting from the mice, the rabbits, the deer. And those are the big obstacles that keep them from doing what they're capable of doing. And once they're protected, we've seen what they're capable of doing. Now this is June 26th, and it's up this high. That's amazing, I, I mean, I've had zero growth here in five years because the weeds just overtook it. The cost of the tubes and the matting and the stakes is made up in, in, in so quick by not having to replant the, the cost and the time to go back and replant. We've replanted in hundreds of trees every single year here. Okay, it's now been about eight weeks, eight and a half weeks. This tree here is right up to the top. See, this one is right here. Now, that's eight and a half weeks that's a brand new seedling that was planted. It's out of the tube uh, on a four foot tube. All these right in here were new seedlings this spring. Now these trees were planted last year from seedlings. Now look at this tree here. This thing's got to be nine foot high. Almost all of these. Now again, seedlings in one year to eight, nine foot high. Think about that with the trees you've planted or the trees I've planted before. To me, this is amazing. Here's one that has got cherries on it. These are Nankin cherries. Again, this is, was tubed last year, so this is a year and a half's growth of the tree, and it's already starting to bear fruit. We put in blocks of flowering crab apples, about 1,500 or 2,000 of them in big blocks. Those were all planted from seedlings last year. So they've went from seedlings to the highest one's about 10 foot high in the course of two summers of growth. Um, so that's about one and a half years of growth from a seedling to produce some trees that are nine and 10 foot high. You think about that. I've never even heard of anything like that before. Those flowering crab apples, the deer are gonna absolutely founder themselves on them. The pheasants will founder themselves on them. The grouse will eat them and the turkeys will eat them, all four. As well as providing different complete edge effects. That's why this hedgerow thing runs about three-eighths of a mile right across the fields area to give an edge effect to the ranch, also to give hedgerows as well as food with the fruit trees. These trees are four-year-old trees that were growing well. They just came in here this year and ate them all. What I'm putting on here is a product called Deer Guard. It protects the trees from deer munching on them. You spray it on the tree just hitting these tops. When these little tender shoots come out, I mean, that's just like a dessert to a deer. It keeps almost all the deer off the trees almost all the time. Well, the tubes allow you to do complete weed control around those tubes with Roundup without it affecting the trees because the bottom foot there, 14 inches of the tube are, are, are solid. They're not vented whatsoever. So you can spray right up against them, kill anything around them. And I try and spray it out about oh, two feet or so. 
And I mean, what, what we're doing this year with tree growth is something that I didn't think was possible after everything we've been through. When I'm done, I want easy access for water, easy access for food, and easy access for critters for all of the different kinds of critters that are here.